Umami of Japan, Tempura Edition! Welcome back to our channel where we deep dive into Japanese food culture, Umami of Japan. I have a few times, but in my experience, it's really difficult to get the ratio of the flour and the water correctly. If the batter is too thick, the tempura comes out heavy. If it's too light, it doesn't quite get that satisfying crunch. So if you can teach me the balance of the ingredients today, that would be super helpful. Perfect, let's go. In today's recipe, we are making tempura with shrimp, pumpkin, sweet potato, shiitake mushroom, and shiso leaves. Japanese tempura uses a variety of ingredients, and you can try this recipe with your favorite vegetables or whatever's available in your fridge. For the batter, prepare 150 grams of flour, one egg, and 150 milliliters of cold water. And finally, for the dipping sauce, you will need 200 milliliters of dashi and 50 milliliters of soy sauce and 50 milliliters of mirin. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So not a many. If you don't have satsuma emo at home, you can use yams. Yam tempura is amazing as well. Okay. このままで大丈夫です。お、<笑><笑><笑> ちょっと飾り切り。ああ。見たことありますいや、あれなんですよね。ちょっと後付けて。うん。それがロスター。この delicately tempered as well. で、次は。エビを下処理していきます。まず、皮を剥きましょう、エビの。うん。剥く時のコツってありますか?コツ。耳が。うん。剥がれちゃったらもったいないので、丁寧に。やり方ぐらいです。It's <笑> Oh, okay, we're not taking the tails off. I almost took the tail off. I always struggle with this part because I'm not very good at it. こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こう、こ
The batter should be a little bit lumpy. Ah, this is important. For the tempura dipping sauce, all you need to do is boil 200 milliliters of dashi, 50 milliliters of soy sauce, and 50 milliliters of miri. For more information on how to make dashi from scratch, please check out our miso soup video. Take it off the heat as soon as it starts to bubble. While you're waiting for the oil to heat up, lightly dust your ingredients with extra flour. This will help make the tempura batter stick better. では、そこに温めて、ちょっとこれを垂らしてみて。うん。あ、こう上がってくればもう大丈夫です。Oh、cool。That's <笑> <笑><笑> so how do you know when it's ready? 最初勢いよく泡が出るんですけど、だんだん泡が小さくなってくるので、あともこう見た目的にさっくりしてきたなって思ったらあげちゃって大丈夫です。はい。All right, what are we doing next? Let's go. Hi. Okay, let's do the sweet potato. で、あんまりいっぱい一気に具材入れすぎちゃうと。温度が下がっちゃうので、まあ、2、3個とかで大丈夫なんですけど、いっぱいバーって息抜いちゃうのは失敗しちゃうのでやめてた方がいいと思います。Okay. Mm. Next, let's try the mushroom with the beautiful star shape. Get that in there. Yeah. Oh, looking good. はい。はい。で、ちょっと最初お手本見てますね。Okay. Ah, that's important. Yeah.たっぷりつけて、Gonna make sure we don't get any of that batter on the tail because we want that cute little pink tail to poke out from underneath the tempura. And then we're gonna lay it flat like this. Shoot. This one doesn't take very much time, does it? It's been about two minutes. We're gonna take the shrimpies out. Take the butter tail. How's that look? I love that the batter isn't too thick, so you can see that beautiful pink color coming through. All right, it looks beautiful. <sighs> so take a look at this tempura. It looks amazing. And look at all the different colors. We've done a really good job at plating. And over here, I've noticed we have some new seasonings, some side dishes. What are these? Matcha salt. If you can't find matcha salt at home, what you can do is take some matcha powder and some really fine grain salt and sort of mix it together and use that instead. But I definitely recommend trying tsuyu as well. If you can make your own dashi tsuyu, that's great. If not, it's also possible to buy tempura dipping sauce from your nearest Asian supermarket. All right, so we have some grated daikon, Japanese daikon radish here, and we're gonna put it into our dipping sauce. And this just adds a different, uh, a little bit of a, a sourness from the daikon. Normally I go for vegetables first, but these shrimp look too good. I just wanna eat one while they're nice and fresh and crunchy and hot. I'm gonna put this in the dipping sauce. いただきます。召し上がれ。うん。<笑> 
The dashi tsu really complements the sweetness of the shrimp and the tempura batter is light, fluffy, a little bit crunchy, and it's just perfectly cooked. All right, next I'm gonna try the kabocha with the matcha salt. And for this one, you can dip your vegetables in the salt or you can just pinch a little bit and just sprinkle it over top. Here we go, itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Pumpkin is so sweet. It almost tastes like candy, and the matcha salt helps balance that out. Mmm. So this was really easy to make, and the ingredient list is actually relatively small for such a famous Japanese dish. If you want to make tempura at home, I recommend that you give this recipe a try. And this is a great way to serve vegetables in a fun way and get all your vitamins for the day. If you made this recipe, please let us know how it went in the comments. Let us know if you have any questions on how to acquire Japanese ingredients, or if you need any ideas for replacement ingredients for things that are kind of hard to find. Just leave a comment below and we'll try to get back to you soon. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out the other recipes on this channel. Subscribe to Umami of Japan for more videos about Japanese food. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!